Did you ever know that I used to sneak out the house as a child? We ended up flipping a coin. Um, it and was it... all based on a flip of a coin. What's your body count? What, you mean my BMI? <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome or welcome back. I'm about to head over to my mum's. I'm just putting the little ones to bed first. <laughs> I don't really know why I'm doing this. Please give this video a big thumbs up and click subscribe if you'd like to see anything else from me. So I've arrived, socially distanced. I'm really nervous. I don't know what you're I gonna am. ask. You know what I am? And now I'm here, I'm a bit like, oh my god. Let me I just mean, go we home. talk about everything. We do. You know, and we share loads of secrets and stuff, but everyone's gonna see it. But I mean, this first question goes right, right into right it. Right to the point. When did you lose your virginity? Um, I was 18. 18? Oh. 18, yeah. Really? I was, yeah. It wasn't really anything that I was that bothered about. So I was a really awkward child, and I thought even I was late, and I was like 16 I think because mm. I told you like yeah. the same day yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> I literally like walked through the door and I was like mum probably you would never have told my mum and dad glad you did it's part of our relationship isn't it but yeah um no I was 18 and it was actually with your dad really yeah and I was born a year later so yeah pretty much you don't have sex kids <laughs> Well, no, if you get something like this, this is a good, this is a good example. <laughs> you had to quit uni. I know I did, but I wasn't really on the right course. Have you ever cheated? No, I haven't cheated. I've been cheated on. Really? Um, yes. Um, and, and I think because of that, I was cheated on in a relationship where I, I was, I think, 16, 17, so that sort okay. of age. Yeah. And, um, and I think because of that, I um, never did it. What would you do if I told you I had cheated on a boyfriend? Well, obviously you're with a really good guy right now. I would probably just torture you. I wouldn't, I'd, I'd try not to judge you. Sometimes emotions get the better of people, don't they? And probably try and find out from you how you were feeling about it yeah. and what you wanted to do about it. I feel like you just, as long as I'm happy, you would just tell me that I was going the wrong way about it. Yeah. What's the worst thing you did as a child? <laughs> well, when I say child, I'm meaning anywhere up to sort of your teenage years, like leaving home? Well, I did all the usual things like skipping school. Um, and... I never skipped school. <laughs> Were you too scared? Yeah, I wouldn't have dared. Well, it's... How? I don't even know how you skip school. <laughs> well, it's different now because you get, <laughs> like parents get told if your child doesn't arrive at school. Did they not before? Not, but no, well, not when I was at school, no. So, um, so that, was, that was probably quite bad. I mean, probably was a bit boring actually because I didn't smoke or do drugs or anything like that, so... Um... Yeah. Were any of your kids a mistake? <laughs> oh god, you can't say Apart that. Apart from me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't Well, there's always the joke, isn't there? Liam was the only planned child I had. Yeah, Liam was the only... Um, and he is, he is actually the favourite child. He's not the favourite child. <laughs> I love you all the same, different ways. No, none of my children were a mistake, absolutely 100% not, but um, there's obviously been challenges with all of you at some point. <laughs> Going back to the worst thing you did as a child, did you ever sneak out of the house as a child? I didn't sneak out of my mum and dad's house, but I remember when I was at fifth form party, disco kind of thing, and I slept it was over. called a different thing back then. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we went to like the disco at the local village hall. And then I slept at a friend's house overnight that night. We sneaked out of her house in the middle of the night and went okay. there wander around. Did you ever know that I used to sneak out the house as a child? <laughs> no, but I suspected. Really? <laughs> Only because Jessica used to. She did, didn't she? Where did you go? Um... <laughs> So you know my first ever boyfriend that you really hated? Yeah. I used to go to like parties at their house. Um, so you've gone all night? Yeah, so I would sneak out. Oh my God, Gemma. After you'd gone to bed. Um, I well, I'm a heavy sleeper. Yeah. I used to sleep through everything. Oh, it was the scariest. I could hear my heartbeat in my head. Like as <laughs> I was like opening the door. I would walk home sort of 6am before I knew you'd get up. So how, how were you not tired the next day? Sometimes we'd have gone to sleep there. And then I'd always have an alarm set for like 6, 6.30 to walk home and I'd have had, I'd have had a couple of hours sleep, which teenagers manage yeah, well, on that yeah, sometimes. That's true. And did you go to school? You never... Oh no, I never did it in the week. Uh. It was always a weekend. Um, <laughs> I need but to I've do... turned out fine. You so... have turned out. You've turned out more than fine. I need to do one of these question things with you. 
There is that. <laughs> have you ever been skinny dipping? No, I, I, that, I'd know. No, because I'd have been terrified um, that someone would have seen me. We were probably, I mean, probably like all teenagers, we were very body conscious um, as young girls growing up, me and my friends. Part of growing up is, is accepting who you are and what your body's yeah. like and things. And I don't think when you're a teenager, you've quite got that. No. <laughs> What's your body count? What, you mean my BMI? No. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? Body count is how many people you have slept with. All oh, together. right. Okay, then. Yeah. No, I get that now. <laughs> yeah. Not many. Three. Wow. Mm, three. And they're the, the only people I've been in long-term relationships with. But again, it's different generations. Yeah, then. I think. Yeah. Um, because I've probably... Well, I know I have. I'll have had more relationships than my mum will have had. But I think the next generation down will always um, yeah. experiment a bit more. Yeah, because I think that's what it is. I feel like like our age now, feel like they can't, then they shouldn't settle down too early because they want mm. to make sure they've had all the experiences mm -hmm. and they want to like... And that's a good thing. It is. Have fun and yeah. enjoy life. Like You only get one life. Yeah. Enjoy it. And um, What would you do if I told you I had done drugs? I probably would be a bit disappointed, if I'm honest. In um, anything. Yeah, anything. I, I remember when you told me that you'd tried smoking. Um, and although you know, obviously smoking isn't as bad as like you mm. know, hard drugs or anything, but but I was I was a bit disappointed at the time. Not in you, as a person, but in the fact that you'd done that. Yeah, activity. I think it was just a shock too because you thought yeah. like none of us ever had. Mm. But I do think nowadays it is quite a normal thing for everyone to just try everything. But I mm. haven't done like hard drugs. No. What does that mean? You haven't done hard drugs. Do you have done soft drugs? <laughs> like for weed for example yeah 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 well we went to me and martin went to amsterdam didn't we a few years yeah. ago yeah random was like well what are they gonna do in Am like what are they he wouldn't know he was like i don't wouldn't know what to do in amsterdam if you do that. there's loads in amsterdam <laughs> apart from just like the sex and the drugs but outside like one of the cafe shops um we were like should we shouldn't we should we should we ended up flipping a coin um, and it, it was all based on a flip of a coin to break your like drug virginity. <laughs> but it landed on the yes, we will go in and do it, and then we said no, I don't want to. <laughs> Just got a bit too scared. <laughs> what is your favourite feature on a guy? <laughs> the arms. <laughs> it sounds. I know it sounds weird, but I don't know. I just like. Um, so I have to be muscular and I don't know I just like the look of a t-shirt or, or a um, ooh, like, ooh, like a, a shirt, rolled up shirt like, yeah, yeah. yeah with the forearm yeah yeah <laughs> what was your very first thought when you met Brandon like very very first thought and obviously I know because you've hated like pretty much every single boyfriend I've ever had no I like Brandon when didn't. was the first time you were I think it was at bike night um, one year. Oh yeah. I think I didn't... you came to his house before that, but you didn't see him because you came to the door, and I was like, "Mum." Oh, I did. Yes, I did, and you got really embarrassed. I was dropping something off for you. I meant wait in the car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So where was I conceived? Um, I can't tell you apart from in Coventry because <laughs> I don't know. You couldn't even just say, at, like, at uni. Oh yeah, I was in, I was at, well no, I wasn't actually at the university when you were conceived. I was in the halls of residence. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, but I don't, I can't remember. When you just say in Coventry, I mean, that could be. <laughs> it was, it would have been in the halls of residence. Okay. Um, Who is your favourite child? I knew that would be well, for <laughs> <laughs> And in this is quotes, all of you is not acceptable. Yeah, but I can't answer that because if somebody asked you to choose between Elizabeth and Penelope, you couldn't choose. I'd tell you that they're both my favourites at different points of time. Yeah, no, I can see that. Yeah, no, I can see that because um, there's some days when you really I can't don't deal like with one, one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, that, and obviously that's the same with um, with the three of you and um, Oliver and Eloise as well. Um, yeah, because they're, I count them as my children. But you know, they there are days where you think I don't like you at all, and that, that's the same for every parent and every child. I feel like now, because I have children of my own, I feel it's like a really I'd, difficult question to answer. If, if before I'd had kids, if I'd asked you this, I wouldn't have been taking that answer so easily. No, I know. But I think, um, and it's not about having loyalty to your children by not answering that question. It's because genuinely you have the same level of love for your children. 
um, but in different ways. I think, I actually think it's weird, like some days you just feel closer to one and yeah, just because they're doing something important that day. Mm. They just become important for that moment in time. Well, that's it. <laughs> so if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see anything <laughs> more from me, then please do hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much.